Well, we're here in Mission Bay and we are doing a 2v2, v2, v2, four skiffs total. <laughs> Versus this this team, what's your team name? Pal, baby. Team Pal. Say, say what's up, boys? Say what's up? What's up? And then team Filipino, Roman and Glenn and all those other people that we're gonna beat. And so we're fishing here on the skiff. This is our beautiful skiff, probably a hundred horsepower right there. We are gonna try and catch the biggest five bass for the tournament. Winner has bragging rights. So we started our uh, our little tournament, and I don't know if you can hear me right now because this engine is super loud. But we're on our way to the bait barge, hoping that bigger bass are lurking in the area. First one on the board. Remember, first top five biggest bass. And look at this, probably like 10 inches or so. Huh, Ronnie? All right. But hey, we're on the board. Oh, 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 sh We gotta measure the spotty top five bass. So we're gonna add our total inches. Hey, buddy, look at this guy's 11 inches. Five minutes later. And it's a bigger one, Ronnie. Look at this one. This is a good one. Woohoo! He like absolutely devoured it. Nice one. Number two for the day. The tail. Bass number two is 12 for the day. Second on the drop shot. See ya, buddy. Woo! We have 11 and 12. Two bass on the boat making 23 inches total. So again, adding up all the five top longest bass, whoever has the highest number in one skiff wins the tournament. All I care about is if I can beat Jig Jig Pow and Roman. <laughs> so basically the rig of choice for today drop shot technique a one ounce weight six to ten inches away from the weight and hook size one straight worm hook and the Berkeley gulp mullet bait chartreuse seems like the uh, color of choice today we've been using white and it didn't seem like it, they were producing it's a nice one again on the drop shot I think it is a big spotty oh look at that size spotty no net Dude, this guy is huge! Absolutely crushed. The gulp bait. Third bass of the day. We're at 23 and this guy has to be 14 inches. Woo! Look at that beauty. This guy measured out to be 14 inches. Beautiful third bass of the day to add to our, our board. Thanks buddy for letting me catch you. See ya. At 11, 12, and 14. So it's making 37 total inches. So our strategy here is fishing right next to docks near structure because the water is a little bit more chillier this time of year and I believe or we think that the bass are hugging structure like this more for a safe haven so we're trying to lure them out of the structure fourth bass of the day still on that drop shot technique it's probably oh that's longer kind of losing track of our numbers now but we'll, we'll measure this guy because it's best five longest bass total wins the tournament so this bass turns out to be call it 11 and a half. Fourth bass of the day. See you, buddy. Two hours later. It's a little bit slow. The water temperature is probably a little bit more chillier nowadays than previous summer days. So the bass are going to be a little, a little bit more lethargic here. Just kidding. Woo, surfing bass. Okay, so this is our fifth bass of the day. 12 for the day. See you, buddy. Ronnie got a Benito, dude. Dude, that's awesome. That's a nice one. Oh, oh sick. Hey, on a drop good. shot? That's amazing. Dude, that's a big that's Benito. That's a big Benito, too. Oh, dang, dude. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Dude. This doesn't count, but. Dude, sorry. that's this is huge. A... Ronnie on that Benito. On the drop shot. Isn't that crazy? Too bad we can't. This is not part of the challenge. But We hey, should measure it anyways. We should measure it. <laughs> hey, let's measure you this Benito. Know. Tail to tip. He's about 17, 17 inches. inches. Dude, awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. This guy's too small, so we're not even gonna measure him. But, hey, thanks for letting me catch you. See ya. Still using the drop shot mullet bait. As mobile as we can, hitting different spots. We're not trying to linger at one spot for too long. The, the bite shut off. What's that? Just one. Oh! You got, you got two? Oh, god damn! I like the monster at the end. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. What, what was your shortest bass? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys in there. My partner, Ronnie, and myself is done for today. I think we got more than 60 inches, but I don't know if it's enough for our first place. Roman over there on his boat caught two legals, and I don't know about the other sizes for his three other bass. So really rough grind, but it's really fun. 
regardless of being out here just enjoying the, the scenery here in Mission Bay. So I think all the other three skiffs, including our skiff, is heading back to the dock, do our measurements and see who got first place. What's, what's the tally here? 60.5. 60.5. You! 57 and a half. Nice. Um, 49. 49? You got that 47 and a half. There we go. Oh, my God, what is this dude? Oh, yes! <laughs> That's ass! <laughs> the winner is 60 and a half inches. Oh, Heck yeah. All right. Perfect. The winner is 60 and a half yeah, inches. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cool. 80 bucks. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Ledger, see you again. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Let's yeah. meet you. All right, man. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. See ya. Next time. Next time. Good job. Good job, job man. I got a good job. Oh, thanks. Hey, good job, man. Good job. All right, guys. See ya. So we are just finished with that skiff for skiff for skiff for skiff challenge. Thanks, Roman, for hosting that event. That was a really nice event. I'm going to put all those YouTubers' links in the description below it was a really fun day really slow really slow grind and we were actually able to pull off first place i think we're done right I think so. all right see you later so we're gonna go ahead and move on hopefully we're stranded